Hello and welcome back. In this week's video we're going to have a look at a, a handful of uh, clips that I've shot of uh, various trains in action on the layout over the last uh, sort of 10 to 14 days or so in the evenings. And I've been putting various things away on the railway, trying to clear the board a little bit so I can get some new things out and uh, sort of prepare to try and install some signals over this coming bank holiday weekend. There's the HST storming away into action. So we're, we're coming up to the end of May, so it's a bank holiday weekend at the end of May just coming up. And uh, I've got a few days off, so I'm aiming to put some of those signals I keep meaning to put in, um, get them actually installed rather than just sitting at the edge of the railway. So the HST about to uh, roll up the incline there, up the curved section. Really is a beautiful model to uh, play with, such an iconic item. And you can just look there, you can see the glow of the lamp at the front there through the, uh, the cab detail. I don't think it was perhaps intended to be that way. And there she goes, charging down the, uh, the slope there and back onto level ground. And so we will have a, have a look at a, a handful of new items I've got as well as we move through the video. Lovely sound. Let's hear it clatter across the, uh, the diamond cross in there. And there we've got the, uh, the 264 tank loco with a set of mineral wagons. Just listen to all those wheels on the go now. And we've got the uh, HST in the background, which is the extra hum you can hear. But at some point we'll, uh, we'll get both uh, models or sets of models in the shot together. Lovely shot coming through there between the elevated section and the, uh, the coaches standing in the sidings there. That one's got a, a sand load already inserted into it by its previous owner. do like those quarry wagons, especially the ones with the uh, water slide type transfers. And here we have the HST again, running a little bit swifter this time. Let's see as she passes the, uh, the mineral train there. And she storms away, and I love that part where the, uh, the track splits apart there, either side of the station. And we'll get them both coming towards us, perhaps, here. So it's great fun. I love that also, where that, that just comes together, you get the, the two locomotives converging. So I don't often spend time with both tracks running sort of independently and watching. I, I do like to just drive one train or another train rather than just have them running around. So it's uh, quite unusual for me to be running two trains together like this. I, I thought I'd better just pick up the phone and uh, shoot some footage whilst I was doing this. Now we've got the, uh, the Britannia and the ferry wagons. So that slight whine on the motor on this particular model, making very light work of those wagons though. So a gentle stop there and we'll uh, close the points. And away she goes. I don't know whether a Britannia lo type locomotive would have ever pulled these type of ferry wagons or not, but I thought it sort of looked quite good. Really is quite a long train for the railway that. So it stretches almost across the, the end of the layout there. Great valve gear there. Let's just watch this across the diamond. Nice clatter and a, a slight stutter from that tender drive loco there. And I must get around to uh, removing that turntable and putting the other one in. I'm not sure whether I'll actually have time to do that over this bank holiday weekend. We'll, we'll see. I might be able to get the turntable out. But it's uh, quite a lot of work. I, I don't want to leave the railway in a 
in a condition where I can't use it. And that's the danger. I don't want to start the job and, and not be able to get it back to sort of practical running. There she goes around again. Type 37, oh sorry, class 37 sitting there in the uh, sidings by the bridge. And we'll see if we can bring this to a gentle stop. I've overshot the points just a little, we'll back that up. Switch a few sets of points now. We'll see if we can get it to climb over the elevated section as well. So definitely a tender drive model this. So you've got that uncomfortable connection between the tender and the locomotive and the occasional stutter in it there. And there she goes, she's beginning to climb. And hear the slight strain on the motor, but I don't think it's really going to give it any problems at all. I'm not sure if there's a tiniest bit of wheel slip there as she comes into that curve. But again, I think the weight of these uh, wagons is really going to uh, increase the speed and push this locomotive forwards, even though I'm backing right off the power at this stage. And safely through the points there, even if that is just a, a little bit on the quick side. There's a great view of the valve gear there. I just love the sound the models make on the rails. So we'll just uh, switch a few more points, a bit more power. And uh, then we've got the uh, Nella Hall emerging from the station. Those are GWR Collet style coaches. Completely different sound this model makes with the, uh, the silver seal wheels. And we're just going to run through this other crossover, which is uh, much underused on the railway. So that's going from the station approach onto the inside line, and then we'll we'll back them up into the uh, the sidings there through that Y point. I think we're almost all the way through there. Switch the points again. Change the direction. And away we go. We we'll just have to keep an eye on them so we don't run into the buffer at the end of the sidings there. Quite well behaved through that pair of points. Now I think we're just about all the way in there. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I bought a, a few new items, and uh, they're these uh, bridges here or vi a viaduct and the, uh, the brick bridge. Um, this is the uh, 73 catalogue, and I think in 72, uh, the, uh, the brick bridge showed up in, in red in the catalogue, and the, uh, the viaduct was still in the original color, like the, uh, the one in the lovely Trang Rail Railways box we saw a few weeks ago, if you have a, a glance at the insert picture there. And I think uh, they stayed in this bright color till 75, when they were re-released in sort of darker brown at the bottom, and they had the, had the gray uh, sort of parapet or brickwork across the top. And if you have a look at the insert picture, I, I got one of these brick bridges in that that um, video a little while back as well. But uh, I saw these on Trying Man's website. And I thought I should probably get them uh, while they're available. I'm not quite sure that the the red is the same as this Gerda bridge that was available at that time. It's it's like the one we've got on the railway at the moment. Uh, but uh, I think they're just a, an interesting item to have in the collection. And I also, uh, at the same time, I've been having, having a look at Tryman's website for a while and been noticing he had these coaches. I've, whilst I do have some already, here's the, uh, these sort of Caledonian style coaches. Now these are the late ones, which were, um, I think, 71 to 73-ish with, with the gray roofs. So I've got a couple of those, one of each. 
and I've got three of the early ones from uh, 62 to 66 with the uh, white or the uh, sort of what were white they're all sort of yellowy white now I've got three of those I've always wanted some more to go with it and I, and I had that video running the Caledonian single um, last year the one that was all painted when I got it that was given to me uh, by my sister-in-law and uh, I, I think we had in the end five of these coaches running together on, on the old layout but uh, now I've got uh, five with uh, with the white roofs all, all the, the similar sort of colour so in the next weeks I think we'll, we'll have a look at that locomotive running with those but let's have a, a quick glance at the items again all of these items are, are not really 100% uh, necessary but just uh, nice things to have so there's one of the, uh, the coaches and I'm not 100% uh, sure this one's in its correct box it's got the uh, the correct uh, name on the end of it but maybe this one was for one with a grey roof perhaps and it's just found its way into a an earlier coach has found its way into a, a later later box perhaps this one being a, a trying Hornby one maybe maybe it's the right box we're not sure but uh, I think this one is the, the right box for the coach again it's got the uh, the right uh, model number on the end but uh, trying railways period so I think these sort of petered out um, 66 maybe so maybe maybe this one found its way in as it was rebranded the Trang Hornby but I'm not sure about the design design of the box but uh, it's nice to have I think I have five of these now and so we've got a break and, and a composite here so I've got a, a set of five to go behind the, the Caledonian so that'll be quite interesting to see that um, especially uh, on the incline I'll leave a link to the earlier video and uh, I don't know if you remember somebody very kindly gave me a, a new set of wheels for it as well because the wheels had been painted with Humbrol paint and here's the uh, the viaduct oh, I think this box is lovely I just uh, love the box with Hornby Railways all over it like that it, um, that's the, uh, the product name just a, a sticky label stuck onto the box there and let's see if we can in encourage the item out of the box I think that is really quite splendid with the, with the logo all over it like that it's uh, simplicity let's just take that out of here yeah, I think this is a bit redder than the uh, the Gerda Bridge. The Gerda Bridge is more orange, I think. But uh, it's some colour, isn't it? Again, it's a, just quite a lovely item just to have in the, as, a, as an item in the collection, really. But uh, I think uh, these parts here are, are shared with the, uh, the Brick Bridge. I think they just uh, clip together, do they? Or is it all one? I think they, they just clip together, if you look there. Uh, they're just slotted together and I think the top section is possibly all one which holds them together so we'll get the brick bridge out and have a look and this one's in a, in a trying Hornby box sticky label on the end of the box no price present sadly but uh, fairly tidy condition let's see if we can encourage this one out of the box so it's quite a tight fit this one there we go let's just put put the box out of the way and there it is so you can see how the section the top section just clips on and the, uh, the later ones after 75 I think had that uh, that uh, grey section on the top so I think the the arch bit is just um, used three times for the viaduct with the, with the different top on it Still, great items. And here we have the uh, the B12 and the LNER coaches. Now I know we had this on the railway last week, but let's get a, around a bit and we'll, we'll have a turned around and we'll have the opportunity of using the turntable and we'll run the coaches and the B12 up over the elevated section the other way and see if she's uh, any more controlled coming down the curved section than she is on the straight section. She came down a little on the quick side last week of course she does have the, the chuff chuff sound I think when you saw my uh, green Apple green B12 last week it didn't have the chuff chuff sound fitted I, I thought it had but I checked in the catalogue and it, I don't think it was uh, re released with the chuff chuff sound that late on I keep meaning to have a go at uh, building with the, with the 3D printer a new uh, sound box for some of the locomotives I have, I have with the 
with the missing sound box, but uh, a project for another day when there's a uh, spare time. So we've got the, uh, the hand decoupler. We'll just uh, leave that there and then we'll change the points and we'll roll it forward and it should uncouple. And if you watch, I forget to move the uh, the hand decoupler from the track there. That uh, causes, no, that doesn't really cause a problem, but uh, I run into it a little bit later on, we'll see. So quite nicely through the point work there. I think that um, striker on the on the chuff chuff sound box is uh, beginning to make that rear axle drag. You can hear it sometimes. It, it drags the wheels they've locked and it's pulling them along the the track without turning. And you hear a slight sort of grinding noise on the rail. There we go, smoothly onto the bridge, and then we'll rotate that clockwise. Look closer up at this uh, gorgeous looking model. I do love the livery on this uh, particular model. I think the, the matte black is quite, uh, quite stunning. And then we'll uh, roll off back through the point work. There we go out onto the uh, inside line there. Then we'll switch the points and we're gonna run back round in front of the coaches and we'll, uh, we'll collect them. So we'll just have to go be beyond points number 7R near the, uh, near the bridge. There you see, I've got the uh, hand decoupler there. We're just gonna have a, a slight collision, but no harm done. Amazingly, I didn't spot that while I was uh, videoing it to begin with. And then we'll switch the points and we'll get rid of the hand decoupler. Remembering which ones do what. Change the direction. And then away we go. So I think as we saw last week, this uh, this model does have the, the magnet adhesion, so she does have a fair bit of pull on her. And it does have the, the slightly cruder earlier style wheels which have been plated, I think, or the tyres have charging around there. Don't want to have too much fun there. Of course the uh, the chuff chuff sound does sound a little bit on the frantic side when we do that. So I'm going to back right off the power now. And again I think uh, the coaches just tend to push it and the motor just runs away. on the almost minimum. And through the point work. All looks rather splendid really, so great fun. Uh, she's definitely a little bit on the quick side coming down there. That's a better speed for the chuff chuff sound, isn't it? Sounds a, a little more believable. So just uh, take our eyes away from it while it's running and try and change a handful of points there before we have a, a collision. It's 1B is the main one there that she's... Uh, just coming towards. And then we'll uh, just use the IVAT to pull these uh, blue and grey coaches out of the siding, not the siding, the, uh, the platform, 
and we'll, we'll get it onto the, the other platform, ready for the Class 31 to come and take them away. So we're on half wave here, so it's making quite a, a deep purring noise on the, on the old motor there. So nicely through that uh, set of points. Nice snap on those, isn't there? Change the direction, and then we'll push them back through, back onto the other side of that platform. Long running coaches, these I think. Starting in the uh, mid, mid late 60s. I think they initially had uh, sort of platform grey roofs, and then they had darker grey roofs towards the, uh, the later 60s into the early 70s. And um, we'll stop that there and we'll uh, employ the hand decoupler once again. Very, very useful item. And then we'll just put this uh, IVAP just behind the uh, the four-wheel coaches. We'll just uh, park her there for the moment. So we'll just get rid of that before we forget. And we'll just roll her in behind the coat, the uh, the little GWR four-wheel coaches there. And we'll seal her into the sidings. So she'll be safe there and we'll open up the route, get the class 31 from the refueling depot there. Now again I've left this on half wave, it's not really a half wave model this one, it causes additional noise. Well it will run quite slowly. There we go, switch to some more points. Yeah, definitely a noisy model this one, but not short of pulling power. And we'll just see if we can hook nicely up with these coaches. Change the direction and we'll go on to a full wave. There we go, a bit more express train speed or toy train speed. Out onto the main line, and we'll have a, a bit of a charge round. We've closed one B, so we're safe. But I think that's probably it for this week. Thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed seeing yet more new items. If you enjoy seeing those, I'll, I'll continue to drop them in from time to time. But we don't won't do an unboxing and unwrapping. We'll just have a, a quick glance at uh, perhaps the new items as they come in. But thanks again for watching. Bye now.